Hey guys, I'm Austin and Ash is over there. And yeah. today we're gonna go shoot the new gun. kind of got a mess. The reason you haven't really seen from us lately is we moved. We bought a house. And I mean we just got stuff everywhere. Those are empty boxes that need to be thrown away. Just a pile of heads. And that's the good stuff. It's not focusing. Just a pile of heads and horns. Need to get hung up. But the reason we brought you here today is not to see our boxes or our heads. It's for this beauty right here. That's the newest addition to our family. That is a 300 Weatherby Magnum. I bought it probably a couple months ago and got the scope put on it now. That's a Athlon Helo scope. It is the 8 by 34 or 8 to 34 by 56. Should be fun. Um, we're going to go shoot it today for the first time. It's going to be freezing. It's going to be awesome. It might hurt a little bit, but it's going to be awesome. So, if you don't know much about 300 Weatherby Magnum, which I did not, all I knew is I wanted a big Magnum caliber for bear and for elk and big game. And I'll show you. So, you're gonna learn today. That is a 30 out 6 bullet. Most everybody's familiar with the 30 out 6. So, that's a 30 out 6. And this is a 300 Weatherby. Quite a bit bigger. So, we're gonna go shoot that baby. That's probably gonna hurt. The other gun next to it, that's just a 223. That's our coyote gun. And it's getting the season to hunt coyotes again, so we're just gonna make sure she's still sighted in from last year, which should be. So we're gonna head out, shoot a couple guns, and we'll do a quick first impression review on this gun as well. Um, straight out of the box, it is super awesome. The stock is really tough. It's kinda got a rubberized grip right here and towards the back. Those are both kind of rubberized. Uh, over, overall, straight out of the box, it looks like a really nice gun, high quality, and should be a blast to shoot. All right, here goes Austin shooting his new gun. It it's might too cold. be interesting. Might be funny for us, not for him. Yeah, probably. I'm gonna double check the bore sight before I shoot though, just to make sure I'm not wasting bullets. Too much snow in Idaho. That's what I think. Ready. You nervous? I'm not overly excited. Oh, you should be. This is your new gun. It's also one of the biggest guns I've ever shot. Yep. I haven't shot it yet, so I guess I can't say that yet. It's about to be one of the biggest guns I've ever shot. Ready for this. Tiger right now. 
I just want to see how hard it's going to get cost. <laughs> I just got shot. I felt the vibration so bad. Did you? The 30 out six kicks harder than that. Really? But I honestly think it's because our out six doesn't have any padding, and this has got quite a bit of padding. And you have that a big coat like on. All that build up for nothing. I don't think I'll put a muzzle brake on it. Really? It didn't even jump. I still had it on the box afterwards. Huh. It's pretty good. Nice. I'm about three inches low, though. It's like right there. Really? Yeah. That's awesome. I like it. I was actually Good. very nervous. Not bad. Yeah, it's about two inches low, a half inch to the left. Let's do that again. Shaking? Yeah, I'm shaking pretty bad. I was a little nervous. I know, you didn't want to admit it. <laughs> I thought it was going to kick pretty hard. All right, let's go again. Hey. It's so loud. As long as you got a snug, it really doesn't hit you that hard. The 30 out 6, since it's just like straight wood, two shots, your freaking shoulder's killing. like to try 180s. Wanna shoot it? It's not that bad. Yeah, I'll go for it. <laughs>
loud. Oh my god, I feel the wave. I know. That was like... You know where it's at? It's almost touching the whole other cross on the right side. Really? Yeah. It's jumping bad. I'm not like the bullets. I bet you bumped it up a little heavier than my shooting sweater. That's what my gun does. You know what? Get heavier? Yeah. That is pretty low for that caliber. Shoot again if you want. Oh, good. Did it my, get chest was, my chest was all really sore. <laughs> While we're out, we're sighting in the coyote gun too. Because it's that time of the year. Well guys, we just got back from shooting and it didn't really go as planned, but it was good to get, be able to shoot the new gun at least. Uh, I think the scope sliding, I don't think the scope rings on it are good enough, so we just got some Vortex ones coming. Actually, Dad had some Vortex ones just sitting around, so we gotta grab those from him. And we're gonna send these ones back. I'm pretty sure the scope's sliding because it jumps about six inches every shot. Um, but it was good to be able to shoot the new gun. But thanks for watching and sorry we've kind of been slacking lately. We're in the process of moving and it's a mess still. So thanks for watching, thanks for following along and please subscribe, please hit the like button. And we'll see you next time. Bye.